Hey guys, Sam here. I just wanted to make a little bit of a video to talk about something that I've addressed in the past, but I haven't really talked about since this whole COVID situation came about. So what I want to talk about is something called non-exercise physical activity. So we all know that it's important, it's vital to our immune system, to our health, to our longevity and our functionality to exercise on a regular basis. But one thing we don't realize is the imp importance of the other 23 hours in your day, okay? So when we're talking about getting fit, when we're talking about effectively staying as healthy for as long as possible, yes, exercise is important, but there's something that most of us are generally violating on a daily basis when it comes to our health and fitness that we don't even realize about it. So what sparked this for me? Uh, I actually saw an Instagram post by one of our members, Carling, talking about how she was able to get 10,000 steps every single day during this pandemic. And that is one of the things that I'm talking about, this non-exercise physical activity, which basically is just, what are we doing in the other 23 hours of our day to service our health and fitness, okay? So we talk about uh, this idea of transitioning from a sitting to a standing desk. Now, you guys may not know this, but when you transition from that seated to the standing position, you actually get an elevated metabolic effect. So everybody has what's called a BMR, basal metabolic rate. That's the number of calories that you burn in a given day just to be functional, just to be alive, just to be well. Everybody's number is gonna be a little bit different. For an example, let's just say that my basal metabolic rate is 2,000 calories. All that means is if I lay in bed, don't do much during the day, it's gonna burn 2,000 calories just to keep my body going and functioning. Now, one of the best ways to increase the calories that you burn in a given day is transitioning from sitting to standing. So there's been plenty of research done about this and if you take an individual who works an eight hour day, five days a week, so a 40 hour work week, and we extrapolate the transition from sitting to standing across a full work year, you're gonna burn the calories that are equivalent to running, I believe it's something along the lines of 36 marathons. So, just from going from a seated desk to a standing desk, you're going to rapidly boost the number of calories that you burn in a given day. And what you're also going to do is decrease your risk of what we like to call all-cause mortality. That's a big fancy word that just means your risk of disease and death. So just from going to sitting, from sitting to standing, you're going to drastically improve your health. You're gonna burn more calories. You're gonna fix your posture and a lot of other cool things. So come on with me. We're gonna go on a little bit of a tour. So I'm here at the gym. I've never really used a selfie stick before. So give me a, bear with me for a moment. So Arden and I have been working out of the gym for the last couple weeks. And the major addition that we've kind of put together is a couple standing desks. So Arden is effectively taking a basic table. She's put a couple boxes on it to elevate her monitors. And she has essentially set up a workstation that allows her to stand during the day. Now, Standing for a full eight hour day is tough, even for you fit folks. So we're gonna talk about a couple strategies in a minute, but I wanna kind of talk about and address the basics. So this is my standing desk. I know it ain't pretty, but effectively I've elevated a basic workstation and I've set up the monitor in a way that allows me to keep my head and spine fairly neutral while I'm working. And again, just going from sit sitting 
to standing activates all these muscles in our body and really starts our metabolic system up. So that's something that I highly implore you guys to try. Again, start small, start with a couple hours and go from there. Now, I'm gonna walk and talk, so bear with me. Uh, we, I, sorry, talked about, you know, it being challenging to do a full eight hour work day standing. So there's a couple strategies that you can implore that are going to help with your posture, help with preventing low back pain while you transition to standing. So hang tight, I'm gonna show you guys right here. All right, we're back. So when you first start your progression into a standing desk, it's more than likely that you're gonna experience some low back pain, okay? So when I set up, at the desk, I'm gonna find myself overextending in the back, most likely, and experiencing some irritation. So, if you think back to any time you've been to a pub, they've kind of solved this uh, conundrum of low back pain while standing. So, what you can do is take a slight elevation, so you can use a textbook, you can use a dumbbell, you could use whatever, it just has to be a couple inches what that's going to do is when we step that foot up, it's going to tilt our pelvis into alignment so that we can work for extended periods of time without low back pain. Now, that is really just treating the symptom and not the cause. So if you find that you still do that and you get low back pain and standing just isn't working for you, then try this. So there's a stretch we do here in the gym all the time that is arguably the best thing that you can do to fix that low back pain and it's called the couch stretch. Now I'm not going to get too much into the nuances of why it works and the muscles involved but I promise you spend two minutes per leg on this stretch here and you're going to find that that standing desk position and just low back pain in general starts to dissipate. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start on your hands and knees and you are going to bring you one knee as close to the wall as possible. Now, this position would be great for most of us, we're a little stiff, so we're gonna have to bring our knee a little further off the wall. From here, you're gonna step the other foot forward and you're gonna stand up tall. Now, when you're in this position, it's important not to just arch your back. We're not really stretching the muscles we're looking to target here when we do that. So tighten your abs, squeeze your glute, and try and push your hip forward. If you put your hands on the ground and push your hip forward, you're really going to target that psoas, that muscle that leads to a lot of our low back dysfunction. If you stand up tall, keep the butt tight, abs tight and lean back, you're gonna feel a bit more of a stretch in the quad muscle. So, go ahead, hop on that position, two minutes per leg, and you're gonna find that you get a ton of benefit and just relief in that lower back. Which leads me to the flash challenge of the week. If you, can go ahead and assemble a standing desk for yourself at work or the office. Take a picture, share it on social media, tag us and your team. You are going to get 25, that's right, 25. I said 25 because our team needs it. 25 points for your team. So go ahead guys, show us your standing desks and basically, Use this maneuver to get the calories of burning 36 marathons without actually having to run a full 36 marathons. But Sue Jones, if you want to run 36, have at it. Take care, guys, and keep on keeping on.